We begin tonight with the start of the new school year. It is an exciting time of year, but it can also lead to more germ spreading and more illnesses in turn. Local health experts say they are seeing an uptick in upper respiratory infections and common colds as school districts start back up. Brandon Schaff found out at what point they recommend seeing a doctor and better yet, how to avoid getting sick. As kids are back together at school, Dr. Eric Baggerman with Amistad Health said viruses are there too. As school gets going, by the second, third week is where you really start to see these, these things start to pick up and, and children get sick. Dr. Baggerman said this is the second summer in a row that Amistad Health saw an uptick in upper respiratory infections. They see about a 30% increase in patient volume this time of year. He described some of the symptoms kids are coming in with. With fever, without fever, congestion, cough, sore throat, uh, sometimes it leads to ear pain. At what point should somebody come in to talk to a medical professional if they're not feeling well? If you are concerned about how a child is doing, or yourself, this is a time to, to, to be evaluated. Treatment depends on illness, but Dr. Baggerman said over-the-counter medications can help. He also recommends home remedies like vapor rub and honey for a cough. He said coming to a doctor can help them check if further treatment is necessary, like a certain treatment or prescription. If you're sick, keep your distance, don't share drinks, and cover your mouth when you cough and sneeze. Wash your hands, right, before you eat, avoid touching your face. These are the types of things that will help prevent some of the viruses that we're going to be exposed to from getting us sick. Dr. Baggerman said it's also important to watch for COVID-19 and the flu, since both can be life-threatening for those with underlying issues. Since the last reported data on August 11th, Nueces County has seen 285 new cases of COVID-19. He says don't let your guard down, even if you're healthy. Brandon Schaff, 3 News. All right, Brandon, thank you. Well, for